How do F1 drivers see in the rain? Would you be able to drive in the rain at 300 km per hour without actually seeing where you're going? Because that's exactly what Formula 1 drivers do. And I'm not talking about reduced visibility like your fogged up windshield on a cold morning. I'm talking about complete blindness, blackout conditions made of water. A wall of mist so thick, it's like driving through a car wash at full throttle. Now, imagine overtaking someone on the outside in a downpour, inches from a concrete barrier. That's not driving, that's navigating chaos, and somehow, they make it work. When we hear rain is coming during a Grand Prix, most fans either get hyped for drama or get nervous that a race will be a washout. But for the drivers, it's something else entirely. Because rain doesn't just make driving harder, it changes everything. It rewrites how you race. In the dry, a driver uses brake markers, curbs, surface texture, even shadows on the track as guides. But in the wet, those reference points vanish. There's no grip, no consistent line, and worst of all, no visibility. When a Formula 1 car hits top speed in heavy rain, its tires don't just glide over the water, they launch it. Each full wet tire throws up over 85 liters per second. That's more than 340 liters of spray per car per second, turned into an airborne curtain behind them. Now, picture being in second place, or 12th. You're not chasing a car, you're chasing a blinking red light inside a moving thundercloud. You can't see the apex, can't see the braking zone, sometimes you can't even see the car in front. Just vapor and instinct. As Pierre Gasly put it, it's the same if you keep your eyes open or closed, you see nothing. And still, they're flat out. So how? How do they brake at the right moment, turn in at the perfect angle, and stay on track when the track itself seems to vanish? The answer is, they don't just see with their eyes, they feel everything. Through the seat, the wheel, the tires, the sound. Their entire body becomes a sensor, and their instincts sharper than ever. F1 drivers don't just learn circuits, they imprint them. Every bump, every curb, every inch of camber is hardwired into muscle memory. So when they dive into turn 6 at Silverstone with zero visibility, they don't panic, they feel. They know how the car should behave. They sense when it's too quiet, when it's too loose, when the grip just isn't there. And they adjust before the danger even shows itself. It's like driving blindfolded and still hitting every apex. Because in the wet, instinct takes the wheel. But instinct alone doesn't cut it. When you can't see the car ahead, you need another set of eyes. That's where the pit wall comes in. In conditions like these, Radio calls are everything. Yellow flag ahead. Car off at turn four. Standing water at the exit of nine. They're not just alerts, they're lifelines. Because when visibility disappears, you're driving on feel, memory, and a stream of real time data beamed into your helmet. And when finally you catch a glimpse through the mist, a flash of curbing, the red blink of the car ahead, you react immediately. Because in the rain, one misjudged braking point isn't a bad corner. It's game over. Seeing in the rain is brutal, but driving in it, that's something else entirely. Because the moment the track goes wet, the entire rules of racing are rewritten. This is where instincts take over. Braking isn't just stopping, it becomes an art. You have to do it gently and gradually. If you slam the brakes, the tires lock up. If you press the throttle too hard, you spin. You need smooth inputs to keep grip. For the usual racing line, in dry conditions, it's perfect, but in the rain, it's like ice. F1 drivers start looking for grip in strange places, off the normal line, near the edges, wherever the road still has some rough texture. Now in the rain is where legends show what they are made of. When the grip vanishes, the spray rises, that's when the grades stop surviving and start performing. Senna, Schumacher. Hamilton, Verstappen. These aren't just drivers, they're artists in the rain, dancing on water while others tiptoe. Take Russia 2021. 
Lando Norris leads, just a few laps away from his first ever F1 victory. Then the skies open, drenching the track. Norris gambles, staying on dry tires, hoping the rain eases up. But the gamble backfires, his McLaren slips and slides helplessly, visibility turning into a grey wall of spray and regret. Behind him, Lewis Hamilton pits for intermediates, perfectly timing his tire change. Norris heartbreakingly loses the lead, struggling to keep his car on track as Hamilton breezes past to take his historic 100th win. Rain doesn't just make heroes, it teaches brutal lessons, unforgettable and humbling. Here's another reminder of how quickly a race can flip on its head. Take Brazil 2024 Sao Paulo Grand Prix. The lights go out, and Verstappen, buried down in 17th, disappears into a wall of spray and chaos. Visibility? Close to zero. But this is Verstappen's territory. Lap after lap, he slices through the field, carving a masterpiece from the chaos. Cars struggle for grip, spinning and sliding. Max finds traction where others only find water. After red flag reset, he seizes control, pulling away effortlessly. When the spray settles, Verstappen crosses to the line first, turning a drenched, unpredictable afternoon into one of his greatest wet weather triumphs. That's the power of rain. It changes everything. Moments like these aren't just historic, they feel legendary. Because in the rain, it's not just about having the fastest car, it's about courage, control, timing, and trusting your instincts. But everything doesn't just happen overnight. There's a lot of practice involved in it to get the touch of the track and to memorize the track by heart till each turn. Here's another thing. F1 drivers don't love the rain because it's thrilling. They love it because it separates the bold from the cautious. It shows who's willing to take risks and who plays it safe. It turns every lap into a battle, every mistake into a big moment. When drivers can barely see and the car is sliding at the edge of grip, only one kind of racer keeps pushing. The one who trusts their car, the track, and themselves. And those? Those are the ones who win. Let's be clear, F1 drivers aren't superheroes, but when the rain comes down, they come so close. Because to drive in conditions like that, instincts alone isn't enough. You need tools. And in Formula 1, even the smallest detail can mean the difference between pulling off the perfect lap or ending up in the wall. At first, the helmet. At first glance, it's just protection. But in reality, it's the driver's primary interface with the outside world. The visor is coated with a hydrophobic layer, designed to repel water instantly. Beads of rain scatter off it like sparks, ensuring the driver can see through the chaos, at least, when the track gives them a chance. Inside the visor, tear-offs, thin transparent layers stacked one over the other. Think of them like invisible lifelines. When spray, oil, or rubber splatter onto the visor, the driver reaches up mid-race at 300 km per hour and pulls one off with a single practiced motion. One second, they're racing blind, the next, perfect clarity. And then there are the tires, full wets, they're not just round slabs of rubber. They're marvels of engineering. Each one can evacuate more than 85 liters of water per second. That's over 340 liters a second. Four bathtubs worth thrown away from the car to keep it glued to the track. Their deep grooves cut through the standing water. Their soft compound grips where no dry tire ever could. But even they have limits. When the surface floods and aquaplaning kicks in, it's like skating on glass. The tires lift, the grip vanishes, and for a terrifying heartbeat, the car becomes a missile. Directionless, weightless, helpless. So how do they stay in control? They don't just react, they anticipate. They memorize every inch of the circuit, every braking marker, every bump, every curb that might catch them out. When visibility is gone, they're not guessing where the corner is. They already know, it's been burned into their muscle memory from hundreds of laps before. And they're not alone out there. The team watching from the pit wall becomes their second set of eyes. Yellow flag ahead. Traffic building in sector 2. Drawing line forming on the outside of turn 5. These aren't just updates, they're real-time instructions, helping the driver read a track they can barely see. 
In the wet, it's not just about lap times, it's about survival. And yet, some drivers don't just survive the rain, they come alive in it. Max Verstappen once said it's fun to drive in the wet, while others were skating off into gravel traps. Lando Norris says time feels like it slows down, letting him operate with more focus, more precision. And Senna? Well, Senna in the rain was a different beast entirely. Donington 1993, lap after lap, he didn't just beat the others, he embarrassed them. He made the impossible look like ballet. Because when the spray rises and the grip disappears, the best don't panic. They lock in. They feel the car breathe beneath them. They find traction in the strangest places. And they carve speed into a track that's trying to throw them off at every turn. That's not just driving, oh no. That's mastery. That's trust. Trust in the machine, trust in the voices on the radio, and more than anything, trust in themselves. So, next time you watch an onboard in the wet and think, how can they even see? The truth is, sometimes they don't. And they send it away. If this gave you a whole new appreciation for racing in the rain, hit like, subscribe, and stay locked in. Because here, we don't just tell you how fast F1 drivers go, we show you what it takes to survive it. In the rain. Formula One becomes something more than racing. It becomes survival at speed, a battle of nerve, instinct, and feel. Because when the track turns into a mirror of water and the spray swallows everything ahead, it's not about who's the fastest anymore. It's about who has the courage to keep pushing when there's nothing left to see. Trust becomes your most powerful tool. Trust in your car, your team, your muscle memory. Because at 300 kilometers per hour, there's no time to think, only time to react, to feel grip before it's gone, to sense danger before it shows itself, and to hit the perfect lap without ever actually seeing it. That's not just brave, that's elite. That's why in the rain, the greats rise. So next time you see an onboard soaked in spray, no visibility, no margin forever, remember, they're not just driving blind, they're racing through chaos and winning anyway. If this gave you a new respect for what drivers do when the skies open up, show some love, hit like, subscribe, and stick around. Because we don't just talk about how fast F1 drivers go, we show you what it really takes to survive it. And sometimes, that means going flat out into a storm, with your eyes wide open.